Hi everyone, welcome back to Coin World UK. I want to do a £2, £60 uh, change finding. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a memory to my old channel. And uh, so this is what I will call these kind of things. I don't do this very often. And I do these once in a, in, in a blue moon. And it's just a bit of a sideshow for me. It's a bit of fun. And it's something different. And... Uh, what we'll show you is the videos what will be coming up uh, in the future and this is my technologies book and it's got all the dates of all the technologies in this one and then all these books are virtually the same just got all the two pound commemorative coins it's a full book and Good fun to have if you find these. Actually, this is not a full book. That's a spare book. And let's get this right way up first. There's lots of variants here. So that's just another spare book. That's my error book. I've got some more over to the left of me. Actually, quite a lot more coins over there. and uh, But I can't get to them. It's going to create more of a headache showing you. And uh, I've got other coins behind me as well. And plus I've got my sets. And this is just a small little portion of what I wanted to show you before I get on with the coin hunt. And... Uh, so let's see what we can find. I've only, I've just only got three bags. It's sixty pounds here. Each bag contains twenty pounds worth of coins, and uh, so it would cost me twenty pounds to buy one of these bags. Oh, look at that straight away. This is a very good find. This is the two thousand and eight Olympic. Uh, centenary and uh, I'm not sure the scarcity but I know it's quite high to, to have this in your collection and uh, it's not one of my favorite designs to be honest um, they could have done a little bit better rather than a running track but it's still a good coin to have and these are just technology coins oh hang on we've got um, uh, Isambard Kingdom Brunel and uh, there's a massive statue of him um, in our town actually and uh, obviously he's famous for the Northern Line uh, bridges, the uh, Bristol Suspension Bridge um, among other stuff and uh, just totally um, in the wrong era to be honest uh, head of himself, really nice guy. I went to his um, to his two hundredth birthday, in fact, here in Swindon, and uh, that was great fun. So, no, that's not there go. Yeah. So that's the first bag. thing is with these with our bags is that um it's very tempted to have a look through but i tend to not do that because um you know i don't want to ruin the surprise myself and uh, what you're seeing is what i'm seeing for the very first time and uh this is pretty cool this is one of the most uh, common coins in the um, collection. This is a St. Paul's um, in World War Two, and uh, you've got the spotlights going and it's a very nice coin to have. So let's put that there. I think that's the highest scarcity or lowest scarcity I should say. Depends which way you want to look at it. Um, 
the most scarce coin or hardest coin to find in this coin in this collection is the Northern Ireland uh, Commonwealth Games I think there's something like 588,000 coins were made so very rare I think in this one just normal coins let's go for them again Well, that's not bad. Three coins out of three bags, really, so to speak. And uh, what's good about these coins is that you can see the different stages of technology. So you have the Stone Age, so the Stone Age, the Industrial Age, and then you have the um, Microchip Age there. That's what it represents. It's 2006. So I'll talk about those coins when I get to them. And uh, I'll let's say, oh, before I finish, that's what I want to show you. Um, I'm not sure about the United States or Canada or any other country. But in England, if you was to go and buy uh, or spend um, anything of the same value of coin so if you have one pound in uh one pences or two pences that is the legal limit you're allowed to go into and the shopkeeper or whatever you're purchasing has the right to refuse anything more than one pound and then um it says silver it's not actually silver but in 10 or five pence uh coins the value can go up to five pounds if you have loose change and uh, anything above that they have the right to refuse and 50 pence and 20 pence is the same goes up to 10 pounds and uh, they have the right to refuse anything there but anything from a pound or two pound could be spent as much as you like so if you ever if you ever come over to england and you try spending um say two pounds worth of one pence is uh the shop and you go in there so i've only got one pences they have the right to refuse so it's just a little bit of a tip there and that's what it is that's how much the value is to go and buy these uh coin bags so it's 20 pounds in here and when you take them back to the bank they will just quite happy to have put it back into your account we can just get some more so 20 pounds goes in there not even sure why this which one was it i get so wrapped up in different um collections is that i forget what i'm doing half the time so let's put these in this one bar goes in there the olympic one goes there and see it pulls go here You can hear Zoe walking around. See, these are, I do like the coins. My favourites are the Shakespeare coins, the Mary Rose and uh, the, the Guinea. The Guinea coin is my favourite coin. Um, and I will... So thank you very much for everybody who's watched my videos. Uh, I enjoy doing these. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but there are so many people out there doing these coins uh, of hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I just do it as a sideshow, a bit of fun. And uh, out of the three bags, got three coins uh, that go in my collection. And um, I will do a 10 pence one uh, maybe tomorrow. And what I will look for is the the A to Z 10 pences. And uh, they're very, very scarce at the moment. So it's good fun to go and do them. I might get £50 worth of doing them. And 
I also look for errors on them as well. I know there's some errors on the 2014, um, which I found in my previous video. And uh, again, I appreciate everyone's amazing support to my channel. I can't thank you guys enough. I have so much fun on the streams. And uh, so when I join Stax, um, it's a privilege to be on his channel. He does so much uh, for everyone. And uh, I look forward to his um, silver pouring. And I enjoy the comments. That's the best part of my videos is the comments I get. Uh, you guys are absolutely so kind to me. And uh, I hope you watch the next video. Um, it'll be a single coin again going back to that. Then I'll do my shout out videos as I used to. And I can try and get back on schedule again. But I'm having a blast trying to talk to everyone, trying to watch everybody's content. And uh, so thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will see you soon.